Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to back up a little bit and do what, what we call a wavelength calculation. I'm trying to get people to understand pressure and reflections. I think if we use distance um, of energy inside of a room with, with numbers, it might help. So we're going to try this as an example. How do we determine the length of a low frequency wave? How do we t determine the length of 30, 40, and 50 hertz energy? We take the speed of sound, let's just round it to 1130, and we divide by 30, 40, and 50. So just take the constant, speed of sound, divide by 30, you're going to get 34 feet for a 30 foot uh, hertz problem. You're going to get 28 feet for a 40 cycle problem. You're going to get 21 feet for a 50 cycle problem. Now here's how I want you to think about it. Okay, let's take that 40 hertz energy, it's 28 foot long. Let's put it in a 13 foot room. So what happens? 15 foot of it doesn't fit. What's going to happen when it doesn't fit? Part of it's going to fold back. It's going to be reflected. Part of it's going to go through the wall. A lot of it will go through the wall. And then part of it's going to be absorbed by whatever technology you have in the room. Hopefully diaphragmatic. So just go back to this example here. Just think of this energy that doesn't fit. If your room is not conducive to 28 foot in, in any area in terms of dimension, anything that doesn't fit within your room dimension is going to be unwanted. It's going to create unwanted pressure. And we call that room modes, right? Unwanted modal pressure. Any energy that doesn't fit. That's distortion. We don't want it. We have to treat for it, okay? So we do, we do that with absorption. Now let's do the, the other side of the scale. Let's take 100 cycles and above. What's 100 cycle? About 11 foot, approximately, 11.3. 200 cycles, about five and a half. Those dimensions will start to fit in our rooms. So they're gonna cause a lot of excess pressure problems, but they are gonna cause a lot of reflection problems because they're going to come back into the room everywhere, right? Because they fit everywhere. So you got to manage the time signature of the reflection, because remember, it's always that balance between direct energy from the speakers and the reflections from the walls. You're trying to achieve a balance, and these have a very short, you know, five milliseconds to 15 millisecond time window, that you have to try to achieve. You got to keep it below the, the direct energy. So there's a balance there. Now, how far below? That's subjective, depending on your usage. But the bottom line here, this is the process that you have to do. So I think to help people understand low frequency pressure problems, use the wavelength calculation and go 30, 40, 50 cycle energy, especially in theaters, I got to have rooms that are good distances so that the amount of energy that comes back in the room, the amount of energy that goes through the walls, and the amount of energy that I have to absorb is not as great. So that's the big benefit about getting a room with the proper dimensions. So we have to realize that energy doesn't fit. Almost none of the low frequency energy fits. And now with the new Dolby Atmos, Multiple channels that are full range, yes. We had two and two channel. Now we've got eight, 10, 12, 14, and they're even in the ceiling. So now what are we up against? All right, it's one thing with two speakers creating the problem. When you got eight or 10 doing the same thing, we really got to have our, our ducks in line and our T's crossed and I's dotted as they say. So just remember if, the energy in your room is longer than the dimensions of the room. You're going to have distortion. There's other factors involved. I understand that. But I'm trying to get things simplified to a point that people can understand and can understand pressure and reflections. Those are the two main variables that we have in small room acoustics. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website 
where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.